What is going on, everybody? And welcome back and welcome to my first opening of the 2023 2024 Metal Universe set from Upper Deck. I'm very excited for this. I get super worked up about the Upper Deck Metal Universe, one of my favorite products every year to open. And it's been a while. I opened a ton of 2021, a ton of 2022, but I did not open last year. I have not opened this year's. So here we go. We're going to get into this box quickly today. Enough jibber jabber. I've done enough talking in my life. It's time to open some sports cards. So we know what we're looking for. There's some guy called Connor. Connor Bedard. Everybody's been talking about him. Everybody's been looking for him. A lot of people say he's going to be a bust. A lot of people say he's going to be the greatest player to ever play. I don't know. I think he's pretty damn good. He's on a horrible team. The one thing I do know is his cards are worth a fortune. So what we're looking for in here today is a Connor Bedard card to add to my collection. I do have some pretty nice Bedards. I obviously, I don't have the young guns. I don't have any autographs. So we'll see what we can get in here today. We got a blaster box of the new upper deck metal universe. Look at that design of the base card. Holy crap. Look at that. Wow, first time I'm holding these. This is incredible. Look at that. Those should be inserts. Like, look at look at this. Giant Marc-Andre Fleury, one of the best goalies of all times. Freddie Anderson. We got Bushnevich, who apparently is one of the best fighters in the league. Nobody knew that until he fought Pontus Holmberg the other day, and he turned into Pavel de la Hoya. Tom Wilson, we won't we won't talk about that. We got a premium prospects of Zach Benson. Very nice. Purple, is that special? I don't know. Maybe purple's like a parallel. We shall see. Austin Matthews injured again. Unfortunately, he's injured again, but apparently it doesn't matter. I guess the Maple Leafs play a hell of a lot better when Austin Matthews is out of the lineup versus when he's in the lineup, and that's nothing new. I think they're 36, 19, and 5. Don't quote me, I heard that number just recently, but I might have forgotten. My brain has played tricks on me before. Dylan Gunther, have we got any rookie cards yet? I don't know, I don't know what the rookie card symbol looks like on here, but I haven't been looking. We got Mark Stone, we got Mika Zibanejad, who's off to a slow start this year. And with the contract he has, that's going to be a tough guy to trade if they do want to trade him. We have Luke Evangelista. Very solid young player. Probably top 10. Top 10 most skilled rookies out of this year. Dreisaitl, who's tearing it up without McDavid. Look at these base cards. My God. They're all different. Everyone, like how many different varieties are there here? I don't know. This is so cool. All right, I'm hooked. I'm officially hooked on the new Metal Universe. So there we go. I'll have to pick up some more of this. Like I said, we, Julie Farnham and myself had purchased these boxes when they were available on pre-order. So you get them a little bit cheaper on pre-order. I'm sure they're not cheap now, though. We have Evan Bouchard, Mario Ferraro, a rookie of Maki Semskovich, Semoskovich, Maki Semoskovich on the Florida Panthers, who look like they're going to be another cup contender, obviously. Won't be surprised to see the Panthers win the cup again, if by chance they do. We got Mitch Marner. Uh, we're not going to say anything about Mitch Marner. I have made my opinion very clear on Mitch Marner. Yes, he's a good player. But as do many, many people in the hockey universe who have very strong negative opinions about Mitch Marner. I also have a strong opinion about Mitch Marner. We're going to bypass... William Eklund, we have Pavel Zaka, we have Lucas Raymond, we got a Schmaltz, a Schmaltz, what are these? Just a blue, blue, does it say? Blue Spectrum, so we got a blue Spectrum of Nick Schmaltz on the no longer Arizona Coyotes, now the Utah Hockey Club, soon to be the Utah Yeti. And we're on to our last pack here, so fingers crossed we can get a nice card. We would like a Bedard, but I'll take anything. Nazem Kadri, who seems to have come alive again. Uri Slavkovsky, 
We got John Gibson. We have Tory Krug. What is that? Meltdown. That's a cool looking card. Meltdown. As you can tell, I don't know anything about this. I haven't really watched any Metal Universe rips. It's kind of all new to me. We got a Meltdown Alex Nylander. I like that one. Nylander's having a good season this year. He has been uh, chewed out by Craig Berube a little bit. I guess Berube hasn't been super happy with his play this year, but you can't argue his goal. He's, he scores a lot. He's not afraid to muck it up. Um, we have Trevor Zegras here, who's another guy who I used to really like Trevor Zegras, but he's kind of looking like he's not going to be the elite player everybody thought he was going to be, and he's going to be Robbie Shrimp 2.0. So that's it for the box. No Connor Bedard, but I had a ton of fun with that one. We still have one more chance to pull Bedard out of the other blaster box that I have. And now we're going to get going with our Allen and Ginter ripping. We'll be doing a pack of the 2020 Allen and Ginter. And as well, we'll be doing a pack of the brand new 2024 Allen and Ginter, which will be hunting for the Chili Dog. The Chili Dog is going to be the big chase card this year. We're looking for a Chili Dog Mini. Let's get going. 2020 Allen and Ginter. See what we can find. Okay. We have Ivan Rodriguez. We have John Lester. What? What is that? I don't know what this is. Be the first to crack the code. Crack the code. Speak English. Be the first to crack the code and win 2020 Tops Allen and Ginter Code Breaker autographs cards. So I guarantee that's expired by now. But kind of like a glossy, foily kind of thing. Glossy, not foily. It's glossy. It's weird to see a glossy card coming out of Allen and Ginter. A sewer drain. I have the full set of these because I really like these monsters. Where monsters live. That's what they were called. So I did complete the set of that when this set came out. We have Trevor Story, a debut to remember. Very good player, but he seems to have slowed down quite substantially over the last few years. It used to be every week you were hearing about some amazing feat that Trevor Story had accomplished in the MLB. But it seems to kind of have died off a little bit. So now we'll get going with this brand new pack. Of Allen and Ginter. We got something shiny in there. What the hell is going on there? All right. Who is this guy? Atonito. Atonio. A singer. A singer for the Bouncing Souls. That's really cool. I do like the Bouncing Souls. They sing that song. Mantham. Great song. Big fan of that song. The Bouncing Souls. Nice. I did not expect to see that guy in there. Towers. A rapper. Singer, songwriter, not familiar with Towers. We have Clayton Kershaw. We got Max Muncy on the LA Dodgers, World Series champion LA Dodgers. Morel, what is this? I guess, oh yeah, I forgot that they're putting the Opeachy or Allen and Ginter Chrome. I forgot this is a thing this year. So we got a Chrome rookie card of Carter. That's a pretty cool one. I wonder if that counts as one of the hits in the box. I'm not sure. Uh, and then we have a web, a web mini, and we got another poodle. We got a JR we got there on the on the fancy little pooches. So that's gonna be it for the video today. Thanks everybody for stopping by. I hope everyone has a great day today and enjoy the polls.